have definitely it's fair to say got my geek on got my uh national rail museum t-shirt on doesn't really tell me what i'm building but there we go and finally i'm gonna build this guy courtesy of smith's toys yeah i'm kind of late to the party with this one i've got past release schedules i know everybody likes to try and get it out as close to the release date as possible but i just want to build when i want to build and what i want to build but look at him the only thing i'm dreading is all the silver stickers he is glorious but what is he he is the nasa space shuttle discovery set 10283 has 2354 pieces retails in the uk for 169.99 which is about seven pence per piece and it even comes with a little hubble pretty basic box Ugh, until you turn it over and knock everything flying detail plaques for both the hubble space telescope and the space shuttle discovery itself mm. do like the fact that all folds up and goes inside and for anybody that hasn't seen it before i very much doubt that nobody has seen this one look at all these lovely silvered stickers there will be swearing people there will very definitely be swearing because i am not good with stickers and he's 21 inch nose to tip and 13 and a half inch wingspan no height posted but as the other half pointed out i suppose it depends if you have him angled on the base or not basically <laughs> more worryingly where the hell is this gonna go because my space shelf that's got Obviously, the space station and the Saturn V. That thing is pretty full. Look at it all. Oh, look at all those bags of goodness. Check them all out. Hey. I'm gonna guess that the build booklet, this guy thickness of that look at the heft i'm pretty much guessing that is going to be an impressive booklet that i haven't seen so where do we start all these bags of bits oh that's a good start 16 17 Yeah, sorry about the crunchy to crunchy to. Well, that's five one because it's got brick separator. Oh, that's a cheat. The ones that you put the silvered stickers on, quite handily, are in a separate unnumbered bag. So you don't know when that horrible step's coming. Stickers, I didn't realise the Hubble was stickered. 
tickets. I thought they may have been the pre-printed ones like on the uh, space station. So that is a touch annoying. So we've got the Hubble Finn. Lovely gold, twinkly, sparkly stickers. Put them there. You can't see over this side properly. And you've got my NASA stickers. And the dreaded. Oh, look at that. They're reflecting the uh, ceiling light. Let me just get it so it's just reflecting. Well, that's reflecting the television and my uh, laptop, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, those are the silvered ones, which I am aware look gold, but that's because it's normal lighting in here and household lights in the UK. It does tend to be, I call it cold white, I call it yellow. And then here's the box. So, oh crap, black. Some nice inspirational pictures of the actual shuttle and the Hubble. A bit about the space race. So the first three bags are for the Hubble telescope. And then bag four, you make a start on the shuttle. You do its stand, the plaque and the base structure. all the way through and then we go so it confirms there 17 bags always good to know info on the hubble and we're into the build can't say i'm too thrilled about it being the black background pages it doesn't look too bad even though a lot of the base of this is black it doesn't look too odious might do later on we'll see it does tend to make it hard to concentrate on what you're doing yeah that, i've just glossed over the uh, big sticker step Ooh, you are a nice boy and then the end oh my goodness I know it's 2,354 pieces, but I really did not expect one, two, three, four page part list. Oops. And some photos of it in various display modes. Quite like this idea displaying it like that. Not like that, that's boring. That works as well, but I don't know where. Might have to have a rejig of my shelving and see if I can find somewhere. Because I would like this to be on proper display. In fact, I'd like all my space stuff to be on proper display. So, what do we reckon? I reckon the good eight and hour, eight or nine hours build, definitely over a couple of days. I won't get it all done today because I've. Stuff I need to do this afternoon, but certainly should get a good ways into it. But here to watch me build the space telescope. So I'm going to go away, get it built, and I'll be back at some point tomorrow, hopefully. Let you know how it all went, um, what I think of it. I think the consensus of opinion already is going to be squeeze so good. But we'll see, we'll see. I could be wrong. Well, we've got the first three bags done. They only took an hour and a quarter and um, a minor tantrum because I built the, spa built the uh, stand for the Hubble telescope wrong. So it comes with a little information pack. Not pack. Plaque. A plaque. A little information plaque. <laughs> Which says it was launched April 24th, 1990. £24,490, 4.72 miles per second velocity and deploy altitude of 350 miles. There you go. That's what we know about that. But the actual little model itself, what's worrying about this is, look at the size of it. 
and this thing folds up and goes inside the space shuttle how much is how big is this bloody space shuttle gonna be really puts it into perspective it's all right reading the dimensions but not stickers uh, the rigid ish plastic bits like you get with these sails I'm in the Ninjago so I'm pleased with that this little bit folds down as well these pull out with the little satellite dishes on the end very cute I don't think it's supposed to be cute it's supposed to be realistic but yeah pleased with that very pleased with that so that one was an hour and a quarter not allowing for breakdown because I can't build this bloody simple stand basically I had that <coughs> inserted the wrong way so it wouldn't balance and I was kind of in desperate need of the loo and then got told to eat something which was probably the right thing to do because I feel much better now so right <coughs> that's him to tuck him away all over to the side and then we'll uh, make a start on our we'll put that there. there you can just about see it you can't read it but you can see it and make a start on the actual big guy himself should be interesting and he's all done that was a much quicker build than I anticipated despite one or two hiccups along the way again by me not paying attention I missed putting some of these on so I had to pull the uh, payload bay apart and reattach I don't think I did too bad a job with the uh, stickers on the inside I'm really pleased with how well he balances on that stand though so you've got your LAN arm little cameras in there and everything but the bit that gives me the greatest joy is this let me turn him round to the back so you can see this top one moves the ailerons I think that is really fun let me just pull him back here a bit so you can see properly I think that is really fun now of course it comes with ye olde information plaque and on ye olde information plaque it tells us it has a wingspan of 78.06 feet had 39 launches was active between the 30th of august 1984 and the 9th of march 2011 Orbital velocity of 17,500 miles per hour. Maximum altitude 350 miles. Earth orbits 5,830. And spent one year, 22 hours, 39 minutes and 33 seconds in space. Of course, the good thing is, if you do drop it, any damage you can just see is re-entry damage. So I'll take him off his stand and it literally just slots on that is it. it just slots on it is really fun now of course I'll tip it upside down you can see that we have landing gear in place Oops. and to activate said landing gear put this at the back see all landing gear drops you can put him down and he does real real functional wheels why you would want to do that I don't know but it does allow me to mess in here where you can see it so if we disconnect the LAN move that over here you build this little stand so I need to take the hooks out of said stand and it 
then bushes in there and need to get the hubble and remove the solar panels in the side of it. Oops. That was supposed to be just the solar panels that I took off. But of course it's me. So I was a bit over dramatic. Just have to push them bits back on. And then while you've just taken those off, push these in. Work on this side of it, just here. Right, this one. So that pops out. And then you can do thusly the hooks go in here, and you can bring the LAN up and attach. have it thusly Do I fit in? No not quite thought we might do so there he is landing gear down payload bay open how easily does this come off there we go really easily as it turns out and you've got your little flight deck down there one module you can separate the two that is the actual proper flight deck just in there obviously not minifigure scale because this beast is big enough as it is without it being minifig scale so i now need to decide how i'm going to display him my guess is two separate entities rather than as so but it is so easy to actually set it up like that I was really really surprised yeah unfortunately total build time was only six hours I did expect it to be far more than that yes I'm playing the ailerons again um it took an hour and a quarter for the Hubble and then everything else was what well that's an hour and a quarter four and three quarter hours to build the actual shuttle but it is a really fun build obviously these are stickers the discovery bit here the stickers uh, the little nasa bit on the side of the payload bay and their stickers but here the nasa discovery and the usa and these here they're all pre-printed yay for pre-printed and I didn't mention but to get the landing gear back you pull that back and then you literally just push them into place drop them again and pop it back down there we go so yeah really really pleased that genuinely genuinely thought that would have taken a lot longer to build than it did do you know I'm kind of tempted to display it but thusly. I think that's kind of fun but I haven't got anywhere to put it that is a bit of a problem he is a bit larger than I anticipated and I kept saying I like it but I'm not gonna get it I like it but I'm not gonna get it and then yeah here it is a bit like the yeah Ferrari the GTE. I, I was not never getting that because of all the stickers, but there are some things that are just to me to miss, and this is one of them. So, six out of ten. Uh, sorry, six out of five on that one. He really is impressive. Yeah, it looks more impressive with that all packed away, but I'll get a photo of it like this before I pack it all away. It is probably the only time it'll look like this. So, why do I say so all the time? 
<laughs> thank you very much for watching this video i do hope you enjoyed it have a great day and i'll see you again very soon bye bye even build at night. Unheard of for me, I usually pack up about six o'clock so we shall wait and see. Not won't be the first time if I did get stuck in and absorbed that I've done a post 2000 piece build in a day, the haunted house. I think that was a, I won't say eight hours but I have a sneaking suspicion it when he returned despite the fact I did break the chain mechanism. Um, but I did do that in one day because I was absolutely over the moon with it. So much so I am contemplating taking it down and building it again. And the same with Diagon Alley because there are some things I got wrong on Diagon Alley that although I can't see the build cause properly because it's at the back of the display cabinet, I know those areas are there and I want to fix them. Anyway, that's not what we're here for today. We're not here to listen to me whine.